was this thing with the kid? I mean, is it anything? Uh... No, it's nothing. Yeah, it's what? You know, it's just some guy we spotted. Yeah, some guy. Yeah. Some guy. Yeah. A uh, junk store owner and a small-time hoodlum begin mm. a conversation that will take the rest of the day and most of the night in David Mamet's American Buffalo, starring Dustin Hoffman as Teach and Dennis Franz as Donnie, his would-be partner in crime. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. American Buffalo is one of the best-known plays by David Mamet, who deals in the way that everyday speech sometimes reveals and sometimes conceals what his characters are really thinking. Almost always, he deals with people on the margins of respectability. And in American Buffalo, his characters yeah. hang around Donnie's junk shop, talking at first about things that are far from what's really on their minds. What do you think a 1929 S. Lincoln had penny with the wheat on the back is worth? Uh, 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 uh. We got to know what condition we're talking about. Okay, what condition? Any of them. You tell me. Well, pick one. Okay. I'm going to pick an easy one. Excellent condition. 1929 S. It's worth about $36. No. More? Well, guess. Just it turns out they're considering one. stealing a coin collection, and there's talk about a man named no, Fletch no. who might no. be able to go along on the I job. I want some depth. You want depth on the team? Yes, I do. So you bring in Fletch? Yes. Because I don't play games with you. We just might need him. We won't. We might teach. We don't need this guy, Don. We don't need him. What? You're calling him? When Fletch doesn't show up, Teach begins to worry What's that Donnie may here? want his young helper, Bobby, to go along on the job. I need some money. What do you need? I want to sell my buffalo nickel. I'll buy it myself. How much you want for it? Fifty dollars. You're out of here mind. Look, here's a thing. Get lost, okay? It's worth more than that. Oh, you know that. Well, I think it is. Okay. That's Sean Nelson from Fresh as Bobby. I've seen American Buffalo several times on the stage, including once in London with Al Pacino playing Teach. It's a great play, but as a movie, somehow it never works. Unlike Glengarry Glenn Ross, another movie of a mammoth play, this one doesn't come alive. I think maybe Dustin Hoffman is too serious about the material. Not that the material should be played for last, but just that there should be a rich appreciation somewhere under the surface of how absurd these characters really are, how they never see how they're playing the fool. There's just a certain amount of joy that's missing in this film. Well, I still got involved in this. It isn't, mm -hmm. it isn't as exciting, I hate to say it, on film as it is seeing it performed no, it right in no. front of you. First of all, there's a physicality. The editing, the literal editing of a film hurts, I think. Mm -hmm. Seeing them physically move around the shop and the big explosion scene doesn't play out as well. At the same time, the words and the rhythm of what they're going through oh, and the wonderful. sadness of the lives. Oh, yeah. So I give it a positive review because mm -hmm. of Mammoth. It just, to me, it just didn't Fault. quite achieve takeoff speed. And that's because of the director, but I still recommend the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, next movie, and it's called Fly Away Home, and I think it's truly something special. A marvelous new family film from the director of The Black Stallion, former cinematographer.